New tonight, she may only be five foot three, but she has shattered the glass ceiling for other women like her. Yeah, she is at Case Western Reserve University and is the first Egyptian American to be promoted to lieutenant on its police force and in the state of Ohio. Our senior crime and justice correspondent Lydia Ospar has the exclusive. My mom worked a lot. She was a teacher and my sister and I were um, either in daycare or in school. Sarah Shendi grew up in Saudi Arabia. I just remember it being very hard. Like my parents didn't have much growing up at all um, until they really built themselves here. Her family moved here in 1991 when she was just six years old. Today, <laughs> she's living the American dream, a dream of being a police officer in the United States. She says it's like night and day from where she came from. The police is very um, militarized and it's really there to protect the government and the interests of the government. And obviously things are very different here, which is why I fell in love with policing. When she became a U.S. citizen, she began training to be a police officer. I always had that like deep-seated passion for public safety and just um, helping and serving others. And it wasn't easy being a woman, Muslim, and a woman of color. And Shandy, with humility, says... I happened to meet all the right people along the way that helped me get to where I am today. And where Hello. she is today, she's you? the first Egyptian-American to serve at Case Western Reserve University and now has been promoted to lieutenant. Something that I really pride us on is the fact that we have built and sustained such a healthy culture here and also one that promotes having women in leadership positions. Shendi says nationally only 13 percent of officers are female and within that 13 percent only three percent are in leadership roles. And in a male-dominated profession, Shendi has a calm demeanor. She credits that to her practice of Islam. She leads by example sits in training classes, classes she will eventually take over. She listens and provides a leadership where others want to follow. I am more than wanting and willing to lay a brick road where one does not exist. And Shandy has been with Case a little over a year and has already been promoted. Betsy, she will be sworn in on Friday, and we certainly wish her all the best. She's amazing. We definitely do, and good luck with the new role, certainly. Right. Lydia Spar, live with us tonight in the newsroom. Thank you. Sure.